In this video, we will see about how to do bubble charts. Bubble charts are generally useful when we have to present three dimensions in a single chart. Let's take this example. We have four assets. The large cap is represented by Nifty. A mid and mid cap represented by BSE mid cap. A commodity and a bond represented by AAA PIO. The returns, expected returns of each of these assets are given here. The risk, that is standard deviation of each of these assets is given here. And percentage allocation for each of these assets is given here. So to project all the three dimensions in a single chart, bubble chart is a better chart. But bubble chart, unlike uh, other chart, takes a bit more effort. Let's see how to do this. In general, when we, were, when we do other charts, what we do is we select all the data, including the headers, go to insert, select the type of chart we want and press. However, if we do that for bubble chart, you will not get the right charts. This chart that we are getting is not the right chart that we want because it's not representing the dimensions we want. Right? It has only two assets represented. So you will get an ugly chart. Instead, what you need to do is select only the required data, which is here, the three into three mat, three into four matrix that we have. Go to insert, go to other charts, and select the bubble chart. Now you will get a chart that projects dimensions. Now remove this uh, legend that has come by default, and now we want to show what are each of these dimensions. The x-axis represents return, y-axis represents risk, and the size of the bubble represents percentage allocation. So let's also show the values of this. Once you click the chart, you will get this chart tool, which shows, which has some other options. So click layout, go to data labels, more data label options, and click x value, y value, and bubble size. So we will get what each of these bubble sizes are. Right? Once you do this, you can also go and do the headers. So go to again layout, access titles, so chart title, center overlay, and you can give a heading you want. Let's say other allocation. Fine, this is how we can simply do a bubble chart. However, even this chart has a disadvantage. While the values are here, I still don't know what is the what does each of this bubble represent. For example, if I want to know what is the bubble that represents Nifty here, I wouldn't be able to recognize that. Right? So this becomes a disadvantage in this chart again. So to overcome this, we can do it in a slightly different way. So remove this chart. Let's go, don't select any data. Let's go to insert, other charts, bubble chart. Let an empty chart come. Once it comes, let's go to select data. Go to this tab, add. Now you can do one by one. Series name Nifty. X value is return. Y value is risk. And series percentage allocation is series 3. Say OK, add one more. Now BSE mid cap and you have return, you have risk, and you have size of the bubble. Right? Say OK, add one more. Commodity, X value, risk. And then you have percentage allocation. Add one more. Triple A fire. X value. Y value. And then you have percentage allocation to this. Save OK. Fine. Now we are done with the chart. Now we have different colors 
and we also know which circle represents which asset class. Now we can work around with this chart. Go to layout, have a chart title, enter overlay. Let's say asset allocation, right? And we can move this legend down, legend at bottom, right? And then we can also have the data labels. Go to data labels and say what kind of data labels you want and now you have a good chart that represents all the important di dimensions actually we haven't selected everything so now have the chart here go to data label more data label option again do this it's a new bubble chart and do for the third one x value bubble size and then for the fourth one go to data label more data label option x value and bubble chart so now this has a better projection of the data so we know risk return risk and percentage allocation the x axis contains risk y axis con sorry x axis contains return y axis contains risk and the size of the bubble represents percentage allocation right so this makes a better projection if you want you can also put the access titles go to layout and you can have access titles primary horizontal axis title below axis so access title you can come and say this is the return here you can select this again go to layout access titles primary vertical axis, vertical title, here you can say risk. So you can have this so that this chart becomes much more presentable.